Hello and welcome to Arc Age. And I have just been entering this beta this weekend. And I've just been invited. And I'm really excited. This is my first time playing this. And it's going to be a series on my channel. I'm going to go through and play a lot of this. And I think we're just going to go right ahead. Because I've heard so much cool stuff about this game, and I'm pretty excited to go through this game and see what it is. So we have the character creation screen right now. We have the uh, Nuyen, the humans, obviously. Um, they have some traits here: warrior, architect, and Nui's blessing. Now we've got the elves. Some pretty cool uh, hair effects, though pretty shiny. It's like gold. <laughs> Polished gold. The uh, Ferran. They're like cat people, I guess. The tails. <laughs> uh, and we got the uh, Harani, which is these uh, short people. They look like kids, but they're probably not kids. They're just like, you know, short and small people. They're... Uh, Jungle Tamers and Portal Mastery. So you can read it all about them in these uh, little things here. These are some nomadic people. These are uh, survivors and family people, I guess. But we're gonna check on some of the female ones as well. Very ugu and uh, cute, I guess. Uh, is a Harani there? Uh, Uh, the balance be jiggly. Hell yeah. Some pretty uh, nice uh, hair jiggly effect though. Like all this stuff actually jiggles like this stuff. And Jeez, look at those fucking jiggling. These obviously aren't gonna jiggle because they're fucking, you know, armor. Wish, 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 wish. Right, I uh, don't really want to waste any time. I actually forgot to turn on the... Uh, timer again, but we're just gonna start it right now. It's fine. I haven't really decided which time frame I'm going to make this video out of, but I guess I'm gonna go with uh, Firan, and uh, we're gonna go to the appearance page. Ooh, nice up and close. So we got, uh, so I watched this from the Augs cast uh, like years ago, where they did a video on this. Very early, and they had like the, uh, you know, the other version. So this is definitely a lot more uh, than that. <laughs> Freaking Afro, <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, that doesn't really fit, though, does it? Probably have to have a different hair color. I have seven pages of hair color. Holy crap! Look at all this hair color! Holy crap! Look at all this hair color! Wow. It's crazy. The amount of customization I can have in this is crazy. You can have pink. <laughs> oh yeah. Pink. Oh wow. Now that's more like me. What else do we have? Some uh, uh, Rastafari type things. There's a lot of uh, these things. It's pretty cool though. Fits their uh, theme, I guess. But I'm, uh, I'm obviously going for this mohawk and going for a very nice red uh, color. There we go. <laughs> nice. Uh, faces. Oh, I guess those are pre made, yeah. Well, I want to go for uh, this one with a bit of red, with a bit of redness, eyes. Go in close and see with the eyes. Let's see, I want to have red eyes maybe. Iris color. Red. 
eyebrows. Those maybe? I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe those. They look kinda cool. We gotta go with those. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with a darker eyebrow color. There we go. They're not really eyes though, are they? They're just eyebrows. Um, oh crap. What if I have like... That's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna have that... Style. Oh wow. Well. Hmm. Makeup. Makeup intensity. I don't want it to be too intense, I think. Let's have that. It's not too bad. A little bit like brown, dark brown. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Skin. Uh, just color. No, that's dark. <laughs> oh wow. It's like a snow tiger or something. Snow leopard. I don't know. Kind of like that tiger look. This one, I guess. Paint. Imperfections. Oh, wow, that's a nasty bruise. That's kind of cool, though. Ah, wow, you can change the location. That's pretty fucking cool. You can change the size of it, like have a ginormous... <laughs> That's a bit silly. This is way too big, Jesus. Uh, change the angle to like, steep angle and have it across the nose like that. Maybe the size be a little bit smaller because it looks really weird when it's really big. Across my eye like that. Yar. Little size a little bit bigger. I think like that, that'd be cool. Paint. I'm not quite sure about paint, really. Probably don't want any paint. Eyes, here we go. So much customization here, it's crazy. That's kinda cool. Details. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, aren't you looking cool? Uh, wow. Looking like a fucking alien. Uh, Jesus. Fuck me. This is just. 
getting out of hand. Okay. Wow, this is just insane. The amount of detail and customization you can have in this character is out of this world. I wanted to have a little bit bigger, but not that big. It looks just like an alien. that maybe and have a, uh, it'll should be open nice and open yeah that looks nice nose uh, let's see that's a very human nose isn't it they have very flat noses like a tiger Cat type of. Mm. That's a nice mix, I think. Uh, mouth! Let's see. I think that one looks nice. Head. Oh, wow. Those ears. I kind of want to have big ears, but they look really fucking weird and stupid. I guess those ears look fine. I have that very like masculine uh, shape details. I bet you I can change my ear size. Yep. Your angle. How about normal ish size? Not too big, not too small. Still kind of big, but they're fine, I think. Well, I think that's pretty much uh, that. Save appearance. And. Enter a name to save. That and confirm that stuff. So I've saved that appearance. That's cool. Skill set. Alright, let's choose our skill set. Wow, what is this? Battle Rage. Battle Rage skill set. The Battle Rage skill set is symbolized by. Kyrios, the god of destruction, the devastating attacks of his so devotees um, bombard their enemies mercilessly until finally their foes kneel, bleeding, and bow before pure destructive victory. Sorcery. The ancient archmage. Someone symbolizes sorcery, blah blah blah, leash is powerful, unpredictable magic, into blah blah blah. We get flame bolt, chain lightning, and meteor strike. Wow. Magic damage is pretty much max, and a little bit of not much defensive, but a little bit more gear curses. Archery. Give me an archer type of character. Uh, I'm not sure where the insane customization was in the uh, skill, like in the characters and stuff were, but I guess that's uh, the healing type. The heal. Uh, yeah. Healing. Occultism. Let's see what it does. Wow. <laughs> uh, life force, summon wrath, or wraith. You can summon stuff. Goddess of death. Uh, her gentle hands gather fallen foes and bear them to eternal rest. For the summon, blah blah blah. Shadow play. Rogue type character, a little bit of a bow action. I think I'm gonna go with this warrior.
character. Um, that sorcery, though. That sorcery, though. Magic. Curses. Oh, we want to have more defense, to be honest. I don't know how I can actually change more of this. How I can go in advanced and change, but... There's said to be like 120 different class combinations you can do, but I'm not sure how to actually do that. Doesn't look like we can have a... Uh, do we create our character then? Like, I th thought there would be more than... than just this, but I guess not. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Alright, we got our character. Um, I was promised dwarfs in this, but uh, I guess they're not in the game yet. An ancient bard's tale once dubbed the Firin, the children of the Gale. Firin kids learn to run before they can walk. A must for a race as restless as the wind. Usually settlers record their lives or build towers in the ground, but not the Firin. They see no need for hearth or home, and require little more than dew to moisten their throats and meat to fill their bellies. Centuries ago, when war tore Aurora, the hero Taiyang led the Firin onslaught. It's said that when he fell, slain by his best friend, the plains burst into flame in protest. When the Firin fled Aurora, they left their grief behind. The wind of their new range brushed their tears away. Other settlers were puzzled by the cat people's feral ways, especially the wealthy Harani. Their suspicions jinxed peace from the start. No Harani was ever praised for his genial nature, and the clash with the Firin came swiftly. Though the Children of the Gale claimed more victories, their opponent was an entire empire. Worrying with advanced technology and trained fighters, to stand against such a well-oiled machine, the Firin had to build their own empire. They called it Temi, and for the Harani, victory became even rarer. Fighting their some pretty interesting uh, story, I guess. Was like fighting a storm. The Harani backed off. I don't know. Meanwhile, the Firin grew accustomed to their homestead and began assimilating Harani ways. The Harani bided their time, waiting for the Firin to forget how to fight like the wind. This time, when the Harani struck, their domination was absolute. The Temi Empire shattered like ice, sending shards of Firin back to the wilds. But the wind does not stay quiet forever. Nomads again, the Firin found strength in the plains. They left their grief in the Temi ruins and let the wind brush away their tears. Their power and might rose like a thunderhead. Hundreds of years passed. Seers announced the birth of a new great Mara. He was to lead the Firin back to the plains of their ancestors, on Aurora. This thing goes on forever. Just Jeez. as Taiyang had prophesied. The key will be to keep the history of Temi from repeating itself. To reclaim the plains, not by building an empire, but by embracing the wild nature of the wind. By embracing the spirit of Taiyang. That still lives hmm. in you all. Mm hmm. So, can I finally do stuff now? Ugh. <sighs> 
Fuck. Alright, loading screen, finally. Ah, uh, so. Let's uh, see what we can uh, do in this game then. Yeah. Some nice uh, ocean view and a boat. Some uh, sun in the uh, upper right corner and a nice beach. And uh, some uh, seagulls, most likely, on the top left. Hmm. And uh, I'm actually playing with my new uh, mouse right now. Uh, the uh, Corsair G65 or whatever. It's a new... Um, the WASD keys move your character, and the mouse buttons control the camera and the view. Why do I have a bow on me? Yeah, I don't need those tutorial Press controls. Press F or right click to activate quests from NPC. Yeah, I'm not that stupid, so... Oh jeez, there's a collision on the... Uh... Oh wow, we can sprint, holy crap. Uh... Someone's looking for me, I guess. Quest, it's automatically added. Yeah, I know it's attracted by this little arrow on the ground. It looks like we are start off with uh, the same stuff. Hi, for inventory. Got some stuff. And C for character info. Wearing a sword, shield, a bow, and corpses that loot. sparkle can be looted for items and coins. F picks up all items. Yeah, pretty basic. Level one. Right. So I guess the customization goes through when you play. I guess. That's fine. Gonna pick up the quest here. There we go. Take reward! And uh, whatever that means. I'm fucking stuck between these characters. Any object with a blue exclamation mark can be utilized in some way. Simply right click the object and turn off the campfire. Up. Right, thank you for that information. Windstone. Touch the windstone, okay. I was thinking, I thought, uh, where's the uh, recall? Play instrument. Dance. <laughs> Hell yeah, we can play the game in dance mode. It's gonna take forever to go in or get anywhere though. <laughs> it's literally going to take forever to get anywhere in this game if I do this. I can even jump while I'm dancing. Jesus. Well, this is gonna take forever. I'm playing my loot. Aw, oh, yeah. Playing some heavy metal right here. Shame I don't have an uh, amplifier to <laughs> amplify my awesomeness. I didn't really read that, but whatever. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh -huh, take the reward and just thank you, I guess. Targets with orange or red names. Well. Kill plateau foxes. Holy crap, there's a lot of uh, foxes being killed. A lot of foxes being killed. To so. be most effective in battle, try to carry the skills you use. Your shortcut keys will make it easier to alternate between them. Triple slash. 
Uh-huh. I guess this guy didn't have any loot. Triple slash! Loot! Farmer coin purse. A few coins jingle with promise inside. <laughs> Alright. All. Open. You need labor points to gather, mine, craft, and perform other vocational activities. Labor coins. Uh huh. To be most effective in. You can attack target. Oh, go away. Please. Well, uh, just a few moments ago, I was watching the uh, the live stream from uh, Gamescom from uh, Blizzard, and I was watching the new Warlords of Draenor cinematic, and I can tell you, it is crazy. It's just insane how it looks and just everything about the cinematic is crazy and amazing it's wild the orcs in the cinematic looks amazing and crazy and the uh it's insane it's just crazy and it's pretty fucking awesome So if you've seen that, then you probably understand the uh, craziness of that cinematic. Um, I think you can overdo quests, but I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna try to kill more than I need to right now and see if that does anything. Uh, take that. I'm not sure how long these videos are going to be. Uh, just because it's an MMO and there's a lot in the game that uh, needs to be explored. I think like 25 minutes or 30 minutes maybe, I don't know, that might be very long but... Play with the Forlorn Someone Cub. Uh, tap the target. Uh, then tap a shortcut key to quickly activate a skill or attack. Oh. Uh, this is dash. Whatever. Cinematic. <laughs> oh, so cute. They're almost family, aren't they? <laughs> that was cool, though. Some cinematic with my own character. Who would have thought? Thank you. I'll take that. Click the skill icon in the menu bar. Skills! I can learn some skills! skills. Charge! And triple slash! I'm probably gonna learn that, I guess. During combat, if you use a skill in your shortcut bar that has a highlighted frame, you can uh -huh. gain a bonus combo effect. Wow. Crazy. So, four, I guess. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Combo, bitches! Kick the ass! Own that bitch! Wow. Well, um, I might end the episode here, because it's probably going to be very long if I keep going, so... Uh, give a nice like for this new series and this amazing game, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Arc Age Beta. See ya!